A force steel bar of 50 mm diameter is subjected to reverse bending stress of 250 megapascal. The bar is made up of a steel for TC8 with SCT is equal to 600. The corrected endurance limit of the bar is equal to 101 that is SC value is given, SUT is given, fatigue stress is given as 250. The life of the steel bar you have to find out. So whenever you have to find out the finite life then you can use the Basquiat equation. And for reverse bending, the material strength will be equal to 0.9 times of SUT. The Baskin equation is applicable for finite cycle from 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 6. And is given as S is equal to A into N to the power B. We have given the value of SUT equal to 600. And it's a case of bending. For bending, the material strength SM will be equal to 0.9 times of SUT that will be equal to 0.9 into 600 that is equal to 540 will be megapascal. So SM value is known to us is 540 endurance strength is given as 101 that corresponds to 10 to the power 6 cycle and we have fatigue strength is given as 250. So somewhere between 540 and 101 you have to show the value of fatigue strength that equal to 250. So this one is fatigue strength equal to SF. And we want to find out here what will be the life. Life will be possible if we attain the extreme point on Baskin equation. Correspondingly, you will get a life is equal to N. Here the constant A and B you have to first find out. Remember the constant A is equal to SM square divided by SE and the constant B is equal to minus 1 by 3 log of SM by SE to the best 10. So first let evaluate here constant A. We have constant A is equal to SM square. SM value is same as equal to 540. So we have 540 square divided by endurance strength equal to 101. Solve this, you will get a constant A. This constant will come out to be 2887. Now we can find out the value of B here. Constant B is given as minus 1 by 3 log of SM by SE. That equal to minus 1 by 3. We have to take here log, but base should be equal to 10. The material strength SM is equal to 540. And we have endurance strength is equal to 101. So two constant you have to obtain first A and B. You will get the value of B is equal to minus 0.2427. In the Baskin equation, we will substitute for SF, A and B and we can calculate the number of cycle N before the fracture will occur. We have to substitute the value of SF is equal to 250. We have constant A is equal to 2887. Number of cycle we have to find out and the power is minus 0.2427. Solve this. You will get a number of cycle is close to 23884. That is the number of cycle. Or is 2.3 10 to the power 4. Number of cycle. This range must be between 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 6. A component is to be designed to withstand completely reverse loading. The material has SUT is equal to 630. Endurance strength is given as 0.22 of SUT. Fatigue strength for 10 to the power 3 cycle that is SM value is given is 0.9 of SUT. If the component to be withstand completely bending stress, therefore he has taken the coefficient equal to 0.9 of magnitude equal to 225 megapascal, then its life in revolution you have to find out. So again for this numerical we will solve by using the Basquin equation which is S equal to A into N to the power B. And for this one he has given the data for SUT and SM. So first of all we will collect the data here. We have SUT is equal to 630 megapascal. For 10 to the power 3 we have the material strength is SM is given as 0.9 of SUT that is equal to 0.9 multiplied by 630. 0.9 multiplied by 630 
is 567 megapascal and the endurance strength you have to take as 0.22 of SUT. So we have SE is equal to 0.22 of SUT that is equal to 0.22 and we have SUT is equal to 630. 0.22 multiplied by 630 is close to 138.6 megapascal. You have to calculate the life if the fatigue strength equal to 225 megapascal. So value of SF you have to use is equal to 225 megapascal. Endurance strength is same as equal to 138.6. Material strength is equal to 567. And we have SF value is 225 which is between SM and SE. It means that we have a life of the component is between 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 6 and we have to calculate. For this one first you have to find out the constant A and B. Constant A is given as SM square by SE. We have material strength equal to 567. So we have 567 we have to make a square of it divided by endurance strength is 138.6. Solve this you will get a constant A. This constant A will be close to 2320. Next job is to calculate the constant B which is given as minus 1 by 3 log of SM by SE. You have to take the base equal to 10. So we have minus 1 by 3 log of SM which is equal to 567 and SE is equal to 138.6. Don't forget to take the log to the base is equal to 10. Find the value of constant B. You will get a constant equal to minus point. 2039 and now you can use the Baskin equation to find the life of a component. The Baskin equation is given as SF is equal to A into N to the power B. SF we have to substitute as 225 megapascal. Constant A already known to us is 2320. Number of cycle we have to find out and the power B is same as minus point 2039. Solve this, you will get a number of cycles. The number of cycle come out to be 92946. So life of the component will be 92946 before the failure will occur. A cylindrical steel shaft is subjected to alternating stress of 150 megapascal. That is the value of sigma is given and for completely reverse sigma A is same as sigma maximum. Fatigue strength to sustain 1000 cycle that is the SM value is given is 500. Corrected endurance limit is given as 80 megapascal. The shaft life will be estimated to what value you have to find out. That is the value of number of cycles you have to find out. So again we will solve this problem by using the Baskin equation. So this one was standardized figure. He has said that the alternating stress is equal to 150. So we have to take the value of sigma A is equal to fatigue strength is same as equal to sigma maximum in the case of completely reverse loading and is given as 150 megapascal. Remember that we have done the test for completely reverse loading. The fatigue strength sustained 1000 cycle that is for 10 to the power 3 fatigue strength is given as 500 that is our material strength is equal to 500 megapascal and corrected endurance is SE is given as 80 megapascal. You want to estimate the life of a shaft for a fatigue strength of 150 which is between 500 and 80 so somewhere we have 150. Correspondingly we can estimate the life using the Baskin equation and we need to find out a constant A and constant B. The constant A is given as SM square by SE and we have material strength equal to 500. You have to make a square of it. Endurance strength is equal to 80. 500 square divided by 80. So we generate a constant here equal to 3125. Second constant is B is equal to minus 1 by 3 log of SM by SE. You have to always use the base equal to 10. So we get value of B is equal to minus 1 by 3 into log 
of SM which is 500 divided by AC is equal to 80 and V of base is equal to 10. So we get a constant here is equal to minus 0.2653. Both the constant are known. So we can use the Basquin equation. Here you have to substitute for SF. SF value is given as 150. Constant A already we have done is 3125. Number of cycle we have to calculate and B value is minus 0.2653. Number of cycle is equal to 93529. 93529. That much is cycle. So if you practice more question then automatically you will remember the formula for A and B. This is a very simple step in the best screen to find out the number of cycles. A member is tested under variable loading whose ultimate stress and the endurance limit of a shaft material SUT is equal to 400 and SC is equal to 200. The endurance strength of the member for a life of 10 to the power 5 cycle you have to find out. Remember here endurance strength is defined for 10 to the power 6 cycle. So this value you have to treat as a fatigue stress equal to SF. We have given SUT, we have given the value of SE and we have variable loading. So you have to assume here that it's a bending case and we can calculate the material strength equal to 0.9 of SUT. So same diagram, same steps or all problems. Whether you want to find out the fatigue strength or you want to find out the number of cycle. SUT is given here is equal to 400 megapascal. Endurance strength SE is given as 200 megapascal and the number of cycle we have given as 10 to the power 5 cycle. Assuming bending here we can calculate the material strength SM which is equal to 0.9 of SUT. That will be equal to 0.9 SUT is equal to 400. So that value is close to 360 megapascal. And we have given the value of number of cycles. So this one just a reverse problem. We know the number of cycle equal to 10 to the power 5 and we want to find out the value of corresponding stress. That can be done by using the Baskin equation. We need to find out the constant A and the constant B. Constant A we can find out as ratio of SM square by SE. So substitute for SM square that will be equal to 360. So we have 360 square and we have endurance strength equal to 200. In this fashion we can obtain the constant A and the constant this time is 648. Similarly we can find out the value of B using minus 1 by 3 log of SM by SE. Our base is 10. So we have minus 1 by 3 into log of SM. SM equal to 360 and we have endurance strength equal to 200. Again you have to take the log to the base 10. Find the constant B. You will get this constant close to minus 0.08509. How many digits you correct according to that you will get the correct number of cycles. To find out the fatigue strength we will use the Baskin equation. S we are interested constant A equal to 648. Number of cycle this time you have to use as 10 to the power 5 and the power is B which is equal to minus 0 0.08509. Solid you will get a fatigue strength corresponding to 10 to the power 5 cycle it is very close to 243.3 that will be megapascal. A rotating bar of steel having SUT equal to 630 megapascal is subjected to completely reverse bending stress. The corrected endurance limit is 315. Fatigue strength we have to find out in Pascal for a life of 70,000 cycle. Almost straightforward problem. Every time you have to use the Baskin equation, just you have to calculate the value of SM. We have given the value of SUT. SUT is given equal to 630. Since we have a bending here, we have SM is equal to 0.9 of SUT. That is equal to 0.9 into 630. 
is 567 megapascal. Corrected endurance strength is given to us is 315 megapascal and the number of cycle we want to use is 70,000 is 7 into 10 to the power 4. So we are going to use the Basquin equation and for that one first we will find out a constant A which is equal to SM square is 567 square of it divided by endurance strength equal to 315. So we get a constant A close to 1021. Second job is to find out the value of B which is minus 1 by 3 log of SM by C. You have to use the base equal to 10. So we have minus 1 by 3 into log of SM and the value of SM you have to use equal to 567. 567 divided by endurance strength equal to 315. Take the log to the best and find the value of B. We will get the value of B close to minus 0 0.08509. We want to calculate here the fatigue strength for number of cycle equal to 7 into 10 to the power 4. So we have constant A equal to 1021. Number of cycle is 7 into 10 to the power 4. And we have constant B is equal to minus 0 0.08509. So you will get a fatigue strength close to 395 megapascal. The video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on Google store and in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for gate. Join the course directly from your mobile. The link is given here.